Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see how to visualize a graph in Neo4j Bloom. Neo4j Bloom is a library that comes along with Neo4j desktop. Before going into this, if you're not sure of what is a graph database and what's the difference between a relational database and graph database, and what is Neo4j, how to install it and how to query a graph, you can click on the above link to watch it. Before watching this video, I highly recommend you to watch how to import a CSV file into Neo4j by clicking on the above link. Let's see how to visualize a graph in both Neo4j browser as well as in Neo4j Bloom. The only difference between uh, Neo4j browser and Neo4j Bloom is that in Neo4j browser, only a developer can use it as it needs cipher querying from scratch. Whereas in the case of Neo4j Bloom, an end user can use it without any hustle as it comes along with the GUI capability. As a developer, you can also set predefined complex queries in Neo4j Bloom so that an end user who doesn't know Cypher query can also use it with a click of a button. Let's get started. So this is our Neo4j desktop. Uh, you might have already seen how to install this Neo4j desktop uh, in my previous video. So this Neo4j desktop comes along with a sample database, which is a popular movie database. Uh, so let's start this movie database. It will take some time to load that. Yeah, let's open that in uh, Neo4j browser. You would have seen already uh, this in my previous uh, video, uh, how to query a normal movie database in Neo4j desktop. So these are the number of nodes that we have, 169 nodes, and uh, that includes both the uh, movie as well as person. So if you click on the movie, you can see all the movie nodes. And if you click on the person, you will see all the person nodes. If you want to see who has acted in uh, the movie, you can click on that relationship. So you can see that different set of graphs with the, all the uh, actors and um, uh, movies uh, in which they have acted in. So you, uh, you can also uh, click on director so you can see that oh, who has directed and directed a particular movie. And if you click on flow, follows, uh, you can see that uh, who follows whom. And uh, if you click on produce and so on, uh, this is very similar like you can explore it a lot, reviewed and wrote a particular movie so these are the things that we have and these are the properties that are assigned to a node uh, for example uh, bond is assigned to uh, an actor and the name is assigned to an actor whereas rating is assigned to a movie and when it is released it's also assigned to movie and title tagline summary and rows so, so these are the some of the things uh, some of the properties that are assigned to the nodes so. in order to retrieve uh, who are the actors who acted in a movie called Matrix. So we need to write a cipher query uh, for that. Let's see how to create that cipher query. So, so obviously in a case of a relational database, you might need to use select command, whereas in the case of graph database, you need to use match. So in order to find who has acted in a movie called The Matrix, uh, we need to write a cipher query in case of Neo4j browser. Uh, let's write the cipher query match. We are going to get the person, so I'm assigning P as a uh, alias for person, and the relationship should be acted in. So for that, I assigned an alias R, and uh, who has acted in the movies. Movie, and we need to use a filter with the bar. So M dot the movie title is. The matrix. We need to give an exact title like this, and we are going to return all the parent, sorry, person node uh, as well as movie node and the relationship as well. So the matrix, the so movie matrix. You can see who has acted in this uh, movie called the matrix. Kino Reeves uh, has acted in the matrix. So similarly, you can query any movie. And also you can see who has directed a particular movie and produced and so on. So in the case of Neo4j browser, you need to know how to write a cipher query so that you can get this graph out of it. So in, uh, in the Neo4j desktop, you can also 
installed Neo4j Blue. So it is already installed in my system. I have already shown how to uh, query the database and visualize it in Neo4j browser. Now we are going to see how to display or visualize a graph database in uh, Neo4j Bloom. So for the movie database, you can either open a Neo4j browser or uh, Neo4j Bloom. So in the drop down, I'm going to click on Neo4j Bloom. So it will open up Neo4j Bloom now. Okay, so this is uh, Neo4j Bloom and you can see all in scene, off scene and for uh, what are the nodes that we have, movie nodes and the person nodes. So when you click on this, you can see that you can give a different colors for different uh, nodes. Uh, so it's already set to yellow and you can also uh, set a size for a movie and you can click on an icon. You can give an icon for a movie, for example, let's give something appropriate we can also search for an icon so let's have a display icon for the movie and for the person uh, node also we can set the color size and icon so for person we can search for person so for the person you can have there are a list of icons that you can choose and select from Okay, let's have this smiley icon for the person and uh, so basically you can create a perspective here and you can see the relationship acted in directed follows produced reviewed and wrote and i'll tell about these search phrases later so in this you can see you can add a category for a node let's explore this one so when you so in the search graph, you can just click on uh, movies. So it is going to and click enter. It's going to create all the movies. It's going to create all uh, visualize all the movies that that are in the database. You can drag and drop and enter in the presentation mode so it can show the movie. Similarly, you can change the size and so on. You can uh, exit the presentation mode and you can also export it as a visualization either uh, export it as a csv file and export it, it as or export it as a screenshot and uh, every time you search the database you need to clear this uh, scene uh, so for that you need to right click on this so you can see clear scene so now i'm going to clear this and i'm going i'm interested in only the person so this one uh, shows up all the person with the icon that we have selected and uh, if you click on this particular uh, node you can see that uh, this actor what is his property and when he is born and what's his name and what's, what are the relationship what are the movies he has acted in so if you see that Paul Bethany has acted in a movie Da, da Vinci Code and you can also see the neighbors uh, with the tagline uh, title and released this and so you can click on the jump to node and also reveal dismiss and also click on some other actors okay. so similarly you can see the properties and relationship and what movie he has acted in stand by me and uh, neighbors so these are some of the features that are already available in neo Koji blue um okay so every time you you search the database you need to clear the scene yeah i'm going to clear this and if you want to see that uh with the relationship you can just give movie so movie uh which is directed by which person so in that case you can give like this and enter it you can see all the movies and the directors for that movie matrix let's see who has created this matrix we Reloaded. And if you click on this uh, movie, you can see what are the relationship that it has and uh, who are the person who has acted in that particular movie and who has written that movie and produced and also see the neighbors jump to see that particular note and explore this graph it is how handy it is to use neo4j bloom um, 
So even a person who doesn't know how a cipher query can easily uh, search the database with just a click of a button as described here. And uh, you can add the complexity, for example, if you want to see the movie directed by the person and also acted in a movie. Or you can see that uh, first uh, Tom Hanks, who has directed the movie called uh, That Thing uh, You Do, and also he has acted in that movie. So this is basically a relationship where a person who has directed the movie also acted in that particular movie. So this is all very easy. Well, for this one, Clint Eastwood has acted in the movie as well as direct the movie Unforgiven. So handy to use. This is great to visualize. Okay, let's enter the into the presentation mode. You can see the number of nodes in the relationship here. Exit the presentation mode. And you can clear all these things by clicking on clear scene. Um, so uh, let me show you what is um, how to use the search uh, phrases. So you can also write a big complex query uh, in here by adding a search phrase here. Find all the actors acted in the movie. So you can have any uh, any descriptions. For this, I'm just going to have the same thing as a phrase. Uh, here you can write the cipher query for it. So you can write a complex query as a developer. So this is the same cipher query that we have used in the Neo4j browser a little bit earlier. So in this, uh, this is a person who has acted in a movie where we are filtering it out by the movie name, the matrix, and it's returning all the uh, nodes and relationship. That is all. So once set, it will be uh, saved automatically and you can just give the search term so so this is our search term which we have created just now find all the actors who has acted in in the movie matrix so as a developer you can develop that complex query and set it as a in the search phrase like this so that as an end user who doesn't know how to cipher query it can just use the search phrase like find all the actors acted in a movie without writing any cipher query at all so when he click on this and clicks enter so he can able to see who has acted in the movie, The Matrix. Let's enter into the presentation mode. You can see that by zooming in and out, you can see who has acted in that particular movie. You can see that Kanki, Norris, Lawrence, Carrie, Hugo, and Emil has acted in the movie The Matrix. As you can see that uh, on the right, you can see explode what are the nodes and what are the relationship uh, we have. And you can click on the matrix that reveals the properties, relationships, and neighbors. So that's all about uh, Neo4j Bloom and uh, you can explore a lot. There are a lot of features available in Neo4j Bloom. Hope uh, you have learned a lot from this video. Uh, I have shown how to visualize a graph in both the Neo4j browser as well as the Neo4j Bloom. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you have any comments, write it in our comment section. Stay tuned by subscribing to our channel. Thank you.